Hey guys, so welcome to Palm Beach, Florida. Uh, this is the beautiful entryway, um, one of the main streets when you come from the inland over to the island. Uh, these beautiful palm trees, some of the best in the world, and then straight ahead is going to be the Atlantic Ocean, uh, where I just did a couple mile walk. And I want to share with you this gorgeous day. It's about 81 degrees Fahrenheit here in Florida, uh, December 8th, 2018. And uh, this, you know, the southeastern part of Florida is my favorite. Uh, the energy from the Atlantic Ocean, there's a different energy than the West Coast. Uh, there's a tropical feel uh, uh, once you get uh, south um, in Florida, uh, definitely south uh, of Orlando. And uh, so I just want to uh, take with you a little drive here. And as you see the palm trees swaying a little bit in the wind, just so thankful. Uh, for me, this is uh, paradise. Uh, it's as close as you're going to get in this world. Um, and for me, that's what it's worth making sacrifices to live here. Uh, to experience this on a daily basis is a blessing. Uh, it's a blessing, and I'm very thankful. And uh, you're going to see the clear, beautiful uh, ocean here as we, we get to uh, the stop sign. <clears throat> Just want to see which way we'll make a... All right here and we are south facing as I make a right uh, of course uh, a couple blocks in uh, there's some uh, shops uh, fancy shops and some eateries not many uh, there's not um, there's a lot of uh, like a, a complex buildings uh, like you're seeing here luxury uh, apartments and condos and then there's some big houses and resorts of course, Mar-a-Lago is about two minutes up the road. There's not much you can see of Mar-a-Lago Mar from the street. Uh, you really have to get past a uh, guarded entry. Uh, Mar-a-Lago is the resort that uh, President Donald Trump owns. And then there's also another popular resort called the Breakers, uh, which is very close by. To the left-hand side, you're going to see a clock tower. That's the Palm Beach uh, clock tower. Uh, I posted a picture on my Instagram. Uh, my Instagram is the word inspire underscore 38. Uh, but you see to the left there, it's a little bit of a famous uh, place to take a picture. And uh, we'll turn around here uh, because I want to, I know we're kind of facing in the um, sun. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll turn here and then we'll come back the other way so that you get a perspective, a full perspective. Uh, of Palm Beach, right off Highway A1A here, uh, down in South Florida. Look at that uh, ocean, guys. Look at the Atlantic Ocean. Is that not a blessing? Uh, that's a blessing. People from all over the world, again, they come. Most people here are tourists. Uh, I see people taking pictures and visiting. Um, not, you know, there's some residents, but most residents here, they're part-time. They travel a lot, uh, or whatever the case may be. And that's the uh, tower again to the right-hand side with a beautiful young girl about to take a picture there on her Instagram. Uh, I would like to know her Instagram, uh, but it would all end in a disaster. So I'm th thankful I don't. But um, there is a paid meter parking. So you see to the right-hand side there, there's a little meter. Uh, you put a cash or a card in. It's $5 an hour to park on the side street here. Um, not much parking uh, in this stretch of uh, uh, in this stretch of Florida here, this uh five minute stretch five ten minute stretch uh, north or south uh, there is some access there's public access to the beaches right here off this walkway uh, where you can go there's some surfers out there uh, you can lay out and tan there's not much of a beach crowd here because there's there's not much beach parks this is mainly again just like a high-end area to visit unless you're in a resort well, you know most families don't come here you know park here and then walk to the beach there's a lot of other uh, beach parks uh, down here in Florida in different towns north and south of this. Again, each town, just like each child, has a different feel, different personality. But, you, you know, you get some perspective. Again, for me, there's a culture, there's a flavor, there's a, a richness of, uh, you know, just something that's very juicy uh, to be here in southeast Florida. My favorite part, that energy. The past couple of weeks, I've been on the west coast of Florida. Beautiful area. I would say I like Naples the most. Marco Island was interesting, but I like Naples the most. Um, but th there's just something different here in the southeast. That energy at Atlantic Ocean, the vibe, 
the culture. It's a little bit more crowded. It's a little bit more congested. Of course, not in this area. There's nobody here. This is all like high-end, rich, very few people in this area. But and there's no doubt about it. You, you, there's a little trade-off with the congestion of Southeast. Uh, I did enjoy uh, the slower pace after a couple days winding down on the west coast of Florida. But but either way, again, it's it's all personal preference. But that's what I love about being a nomad. You know, look, I, I don't know how long I'll be here. I, I just keep it moving. Um, I keep it moving. I, I like that about life. There, it, it, it adds an interest to life to be able to move and to live this lifestyle. Um, and at this point in my life, I'm thankful for it. And I just take life one day at a time. Um, and I just wanted to share this moment with you. I hope this helped or inspired you. If it did, please click the thumbs up on the video, share it, subscribe. I go live every night on YouTube, uh, and and that's what it is. Until I find a rich milf that just wants to give me her settlement money and I don't have to do much for it, uh, this is what it is. I'm very thankful. Keep laughing. Don't get crazy.